Hey everybody, it's Friday and that means it's the fuck is Friday. So it's Sparrow coming at you with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealers. I have two colors in my hands, um, orange and my like concealing shade font. So, you see these everywhere on Instagram. Everyone uses them to conceal, they use them to conceal, they use them to contour, they use them to highlight, they use them for fucking everything, guys. Um, this one, the orange corrector one, people use it to correct underneath their eyes and around their mouths. And I'm not a humongous fan of these. I'm wearing the Pro Conceal in Fawn right now under my eyes and in like the highlighty areas to give my face a little bit more definition. And I would think they're just okay. Now, they're a great price point because they're like $2.99 for 0.28 ounces. And in comparison, my click stick from Cover Effects, the orange one, is 0.2 ounces. And it's like $18, or $18. But remember that this is a cream stick found product. And this is a liquid to cream, cream liquid kind of product. So there is a difference. And so first thing that I don't know how I feel about this. I don't really personally like the applicator. So all of them come with a built-in brush applicator, as you can see. And I personally don't like it. The bristles in it, I wish I could show you guys. I don't have a really good lens for that, but I'm gonna try. So just so you can see, this is the brush tip. And you can kind of see that the bristle, I don't know if you can see it, but the bristles are actually coming out a little bit of it. Yeah, that's a big thing that's been bothering me is that it's continually shedding hairs. And if you wanted to use these in like a professional makeup kit, cause these are pretty damn good quality for certain, you know, for a like, you know, beginner makeup artist. Cause you know, you can buy, they're like $2.99 at our local beauty club plus. You can buy all these. And the thing is you have to, the first, the brush tip, if you use it on the model, they got a free concealer. Otherwise you need to put it on the back of your hand, a glob of it on the back of your hand, and then use a brush that you can clean and sterilize. So again, that's why I said it's an eh kind of thing. So it's probably not question marks. So question marks me. I'm not sure if this is positive or negative thing. A lot of people like the brush tips because they can just go straight and apply it onto their face. But it does tend to lead to over application because I know every, there's a lot of girls who like the whole tribal drawing, you know, a whole fucking clown contour makeup all under their eyes. And that's a lot of product that they also have to blend out with a brush, a beauty blender, whatever. Um, with the beauty blender, I tried that. With a beauty blender, this didn't never really, it was gross and greasy and it never set up properly. Um, today I did it with, applied it to my face and I used one of my little toothbrush brushes and smoothed it out. And then I set it immediately after with a loose powder and that's, this is the best I think I've ever gotten so far. So again, they're to me, they're finicky. They're kind of oily, greasy kind of feeling. And I have oily skin. Oily skin, oily product. These don't really go, more oil doesn't actually help. So that's a really weird thing. These, in comparison to things like the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer, which was a concealer I owned a while ago, that one was better because it was thinner, like a liquid, and you can smooth it, and then it would dry down. These, since these don't dry down, you lose that edge with them. Also, I call this one my Oompa Loompa Concealer, and this is the Orange Corrector. And it is stupid pigmented. If you are a deep, delicious, dark chocolate complexion, this is great, it's so pigmented. You just can blend it out. For me, I don't know, maybe I just overdid it every fucking time I tried. But this Orange Corrector, I ended up turning myself into an Oompa Loompa on multiple occasions, trying to correct around my mouth and all my dark spots and I would not use it definitely for the thing that I have to do now normally my foundation, which is warm my edges. I would not want to do that with this because this will turn my face orange. It's super duper rich for my skin tone because I'm very yellow and this is a very, and rich, when I say rich, is an orange undertone, golden undertones. I'm very yellow on yellow neutral and then there's pink, red, you know, pink, red. Red kind of is that one that it, 
it, it goes towards golden because it's like the burnt. My body has that red undertone, but this is orange. Golden means I turn orange. I'll have a carrot head. So this is just not okay for me. You have to use a very, very small amount, like a dot, and then blend it, and then you need more, keep dotting, and then process. Again, that's why I didn't like it. I ended up being happy with my click stick because it's a smooth, it's smoother and it's cleaner and it blends better. But this one, I feel like the pigmentedness is useful for things like when you're trying to do, you know, your contour and everything. This is good. It's also really cheap for beginning makeup people who like makeup, people who, you know, makeup artists, makeup addicts, whatever the hell you are, MUA entirely. These are really nice for you because they're cheap. The quality it's okay, but at the price point, the amount of product you get, it's totally worth it, right? Do I recommend you buy it? I mean, sure, money, you do what you want with it. I might buy a contouring shade and a highlighting shade and try, you know, the whole highlight contour because I've never done cream contouring and I want to show you guys me trying it so you can laugh for three hours. But I would not, the correctors, unless you're going to go super light hand, don't, don't do it like the Instagram videos. Don't leave this alone, okay? But hey, this might be the shortest fuck is Friday I think I've ever done. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you should leave a comment. Ask me more questions about this because honestly, I don't really have a lot of thoughts on it because I just don't care for the product that much. If you've tried this product and you had your own thoughts and feelings, share them in the comments. Other people see them and they're like, oh, she said this and you're saying this. Maybe I should try it for myself or oh, I have this thought. You know, start a discussion and a conversation. If you don't have anything really to say and you like this video, just leave a thumbs up. Those help because they let me know that you liked it. Even if you don't have to tell everybody else. And if you like me, my content, my life, whatever, or my horror, you can subscribe. I have to keep stopping myself because I watch, like every day I have to do these videos, I watch a great nerd girl video and I always want to say her little thing and it's so cute. But no, really subscribe, you know, I'm not going to come to your house and clown concert your ass, just, you know, chill, come chill with us, we don't do, we don't, it's, it's reviews, I got new makeup, woo, you know, shit like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow with Just Say No. Bye!